Hey there, and welcome to the Name Hero family. I'm Hunter, and I want to personally thank you for choosing Name Hero for your gaming server needs. We're super excited to have you on board. Now that you've got your server, let's get you started. Please be on the lookout for important emails from us with information on your server and how to access it. First up is our client area. This is your central hub where you can manage your account, view your invoices, and access support whenever you need it. Also here, you can see information about your server, a server status, your address and port, server resources, your SFTP password, and you can also start, stop, and restart your server here. Over on the left side, there's other features that we have, like the game switcher, changing your SFTP password, and upgrading your server. If we scroll down a little bit, there's also help articles here that should help you get started if you have any basic questions. Let's get you started in the advanced game panel. Over on the right side, you should see a blue button right here. And what you'll want to do is you want to click on this and it should take you to your client area. Here there's a lot of information that you can use and see, like the terminal, your uptime, your address, and more server resources. The main part that we're going to be focusing on today is the left side over here. And over here there is so many different things that you can use, like for example the files tab. Here you can see all of the files and folders on your server as well as upload and create new files. The next area is the version. And here you can change the version or build of your Minecraft server to any option that we have here. Up next is going to be the plugins. Here are free plugins that you are able to one click install. And up at the top, you can change the provider and you can also search for the plugin. Let's search for voice chat. After finding the plugin that you want, you'll come over here and click the little download button, select the version that you want, and install the plugin. Next is going to be mod packs. This is just like the plugins except with mod packs. So the same thing up at the top, you can change your provider. You can search the mod pack that you want. Come over to the right, click the download button, and here you can change the mod pack version as well as delete all files on your server. We also have the worlds. And here you're able to download any public worlds on any of the providers like CurseForge. And the same thing goes here. You'll just click the download button and it'll install the world for you. Next up is schedules. This is very important as you can create schedules for automatic restarts as well as sending commands on the server. So right here, we'll do a test schedule. There's also a little cheat sheet here so you know how to set up and what times you can set up the restart for or the commands. And we'll click create schedule. After you created this, you can click on it, select new task, and here you can change the action and put in the commands. Next up is sub users. This is very important if you want other people to access the server and be able to change it. So what you'll do is you'll come down here and select new user, enter the email address, and select any options or permissions that you want from this list to give them. And then you'll invite the user. Backups is super important as well to keep your data secure. We recommend doing this whenever you want to do a major update, but to do this, all you will do is create the backup name. 
And down here, you can also lock it so nobody can delete it. And you'll select Start Backup. And it'll create a backup for your server. The next area is going to be the startup area. Here you can change the Docker image and Java version, as well as your Minecraft version and your server jar file. The settings tab is important as well to get your SFTP details, if you want to use that, as well as change your server name right here for your client area. Another thing you can do is reinstall your server right here and it'll do a fresh install of it. And the last section is going to be the activity. Here you're able to see anything that is going on on your server that sub users or the users change. And it's very important if you wanna keep track of that. Thank you for choosing name here and have a great day.